Hello, in this session, we will create a scanline effect using the Voronoi noise of material. First, we create a material. To create Voronoi noise, we generate a vector noise node, set the function to Voronoi in detail, and check tiling. Next, to set the size of the Voronoi noise, we create an absolute world position node. Then, to adjust the size, we create a divide node and a parameter node and connect the nodes together. You can create a parameter node by clicking while pressing S. If you preview the vector noise node, the Voronoi pieces are so small that the pattern is invisible. If you connect the divide node to the position pin, you can see the Voronoi noise appearing. Next, to create movement, we generate a time node. Then, to adjust the time value with a parameter, we create a multiply node and a parameter node and connect them to the time node. Next, to make the noise move in one direction rather than the overall direction, we create an append vector node. Connect the time node only to the R pin of the node you created. Set the remaining pins to zero by creating a constant node and connect them to make it move in the x-axis direction. Next, to move the noise, we create an add node. Then, we connect the vector noise node and the append many node to the add node we created to set the movement to the noise. After connecting and previewing the add node, an error occurs. This is because when vector noise is set to Voronoi, it converts to the float4 format, which doesn't match the float3 format of append many. Using the transform position node, we convert the vector noise node to the float3 format, and at the same time convert the position from world position to local space, so that noise can move in the x direction in local coordinates. Next, by clicking while pressing L on the keyboard, we create alert node and connect it with the add node to create the masking of noise. Next, we create a sign node and connect it to the lurk node to create a struct form of Voronoi noise. Next, to apply emissive color, we create a multiply node. Then, create a constant three vector node and a constant node to set the color and brightness of emissive and use the multiply node to multiply the two nodes together. You can create a constant three vector node by clicking while pressing three on the keyboard and a constant node by clicking while pressing one. We connect the previously created multiply node to the sign node in multiply node and connect it to emissive color to set emissive color. Next, connect a power node to the sign node to set the contrast of the stripes. Then use a saturated node to limit the Voronoi noise to a value between 0 and 1. Next, use a 1 minus node to extract the parts where emissive color is not applied. Next, just like what was done in emissive color, use a constant 3 vector node and a multiply node to set the base color as shown in the video. Lastly, using a constant node and a sign node, set the material's metallic and roughness as shown in the video. In Place Actor, place a sphere mesh on the level and adjust its size and position in the Details panel. Next, right-click on the created material and select Create Instance to create an instance. Set the parameters in the instance and apply them to the mesh created in the level.